Hello my dear, here is Olya and my blog about Ukraine. In this video I tell you about medical system in Ukraine and Ukrainian hospitals. If you are interested, stay with me. Ukrainian medical system is very complicated and I try to explain you this in a simple way. Now we are in a way of changing in medical system, in very very hard changing and um, our government try to make it more similar to European uh, system. Uh, so we have something in the middle not previous medical system, not future medical system, but I'll try to explain the basis what we have now in Ukraine and what really works here. Uh, at first, um, I want to say that uh, Ukraine uh, have free medical system. So everything is free because we pay taxes and because of these taxes we finance uh, medicine and medical services. Of course, in practice it's not always free, but also I can deny that you can receive free medical uh, services. Uh, but it's not always free and mostly time you need to pay for it. Um, now about um, uh, two like parts of my movie. So we have clinics in Ukraine, or it calls polyclinics, and we have hospitals. So if you uh, are just a little ill or need some medical documents, some um, uh, stuff and something else, uh, but you don't need uh, for long treatment, you can go to polyclinics. So in polyclinic, or you feel that something is wrong for you, but you don't know exactly what, what is it. You go to polyclinics, you can um, have some tests, it can be tested and uh, then um, doctors decided uh, what exactly do you need. If you need long treatment, they can send you into hospital. Maybe you need just some medicine, some pills, so they just write your recipe and you can go to a pharmacy, buy it and be happy. Um, in polyclinics, so you have your uh, ther therapist. therapist and uh, he is responsible for everything about you but he's not a family doctor we just uh, implement family doctors in ukraine who are responsible for everything so we just have therapist and he decided if you need to go to some other doctors for example cardiologist um, uh, nephrologist and others so he send you to these doctors or if he can give you full treatment he, what he know what's with you and uh, what you need to do with your illness uh, so he just can give you also recipe and you go to pharmacy buy some medicine and you will be happy more about ther therapist he is responsible for some area where do you live so you can't choose now but I hear that we change it in this way so you can choose a doctor <laughs> you can choose just you can if you want to change doctor you can change place of living because doctor is um, responsible for some area why it happens because you can go to hospital and you can go to polyclinics with these doctors to therapy to your therapist and to tell about your problems and he decided what to do with you but if you are very ill for example you have high temperature you don't want to go to um, a hospital because you think it doesn't make sense yeah go on the street because you are ill you feel ill you can call to the clinics and uh, ask the doctors come to you so he can comes to you it's very very popular for little children because if your children um, ill if uh, she or he has high temperature on something else you can say okay uh, go somewhere outside and go to the clinic of course no uh, you call for doctors and he come to your home and then decided what to do with you uh, the same about old people I think if they have some problem with pressure or something else they just need to um, call for doctors and he come to their home these services are always free so you don't need to pay for therapist that he comes to you or that you comes to him and want something from him. Of course, there is a lot of people who pay money because they think that they will receive better attention and their therapist 
the service them more better like but this like personal initiation initiation you don't need to pay uh, maybe they have therapists very bad therapists they really don't want to do anything before you pay them but I don't um, deal with them I live in a different place I lived in a different place and all therapists they I see they was very kind very beautiful and they don't ask me for money uh, just to give me a recipe of some illness uh, so it depends on the people it depends on the therapist and everything else but uh, basically it's free free go to home if you need them free go to a clinic and ask for something and um, I think that's the most important things. So also if you need to go to cardiologist, nephrologist and other way, um, you also don't need to pay them because I don't know, I, I can't uh, imagine that they ask for money, but I can't deny it. Maybe in some clinics, in some hospitals, um, they ask you give me money because I don't tell you anything be before you pay me. <laughs> so everything can be everything can be but in mostly time it's payless it's polyclinic so if you don't need really long and hard treatment if you're very very ill or some something wrong happens with you uh, you can call for emergency emergency or ambulance uh, ambulance they are from hospital not from polyclinics so if you need really some treatment you can go to hospital and um, be there for two or three weeks on how long you need. Uh, in hospitals, um, if you need to pay, I think it depends on it depends on the, a lot of factors. At first, of course, it depends from government. Our government don't have enough money or don't want to find enough money to uh, finance uh, hospitals in a full way. So if you sometimes need some treatment, need some medicine and these hospitals don't have this medicine because they don't have money to buy it and something else, you need to buy it, of course, by yourself. So that's the way how you pay for uh, medicine. You buy this, you can buy um, even uh, some gloves and uh, even some simple materials because some hospitals don't have it. I think it depends not only from government, uh, from like Ukrainian government, but I think mostly time it depends from local government and uh, 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 management of hospital. Because now I'm pregnant and uh, I deal a lot, um, I go to hospital very often because it's law that pregnant women must go to hospital for their clinics every two weeks. And I always be tested, I always pass something and uh, I deal with a lot of doctors um, very often. And even from my experience I can say that um, I I speak in forums with other uh, girls from other regions of Ukraine and they said that they need to pay for some tests, uh, especially for genesis tests and something else, that I have this free in my um, hospital. And when I ask a nurse why I don't need to pay and someone pay for this in their hospitals, they said that our um, hospital have this um, reagents and you don't need to pay because we already buy it, we already have it and it's free for you. So I think um, it depends from local government, from management of hospital and from many, many other factors if you need to pay, if you need to buy it or it's free for you. Uh, now I see uh, that mostly things are free for me and I don't pay a lot of money. Everything what I pay for medicine, it's only my in initiation. So I go to private ultrasound, for example. I go to some private other uh, doctors, but of course I can use state uh, services and it always will be free. Um, also, what I want to say, um, in state hospital, if you need some surgery, most of the time you need to pay for it. You need to pay doctors, but it's not officially. But most of the time, of course, if you want to steal a life and you want to have a good surgery, you need to pay for doctors. You need to pay for doctors, you need to pay for some services, and of course, most of the time you need to buy medicine. And um, everything very, very depends from different, different factors. 
we have state hospitals and we have private hospitals. This, what I told you, this is about state hospitals. And uh, they are free system or not very, very free system, but it's state hospitals. If you want the best equipment, if you want the best diagnostics, if you want the best attention, you can go to private hospitals in Ukraine. We have a lot of them. Of course, they are very, very expensive, I think. And if you want to uh, go to private hospital, it's not, it's not always the best because um, doctors uh, can be very smart in state hospitals, but you don't need to pay them so much money that even non-officially that you will pay in private hospital. But I'm happy that now at least we have alternative. So if you want the best attention, if you want to have the best equipment and everything else, you can pay money and you have money, you can pay and receive the best services. That's great. Um, in the beginning, I just will show you some uh, video about Ukrainian hospitals, Ukrainian uh, polyclinics, because now I visit it very often and I have uh, opportunity to show you how it looks like, so you can see. Uh, this, what I show, it's from my uh, city, from Khmelnytsky, and we have pretty good, I think, hospitals here, but of course, this video is not to represent all situation in all Ukraine, because as I said, everything depends from local government, everything depends from management of hospital and I know that in Ukraine we have somewhere very very terrible situation with hospitals, it's very very poor and you need to pay for everything, they don't have anything, I don't know why it happens. But it happens. But so I will show you just Khmelnytsky State Hospital and State Polyclinics. I will not film in you private hospitals. Okay, and of course waiting for your comments and waiting for your questions about Ukrainian medical system. Bye.